Hey everyone, this is Christian, and welcome back to another tutorial with me. Uh, today I will be making this picture here uh, from this, uh, just making it a little bit more interesting in my taste. That is, um, it's really easy to do, just take a couple of minutes. Uh, so let's open a new window. I just found this picture on Google, so. If you own it, don't sue me, please. Um, <laughs> and the first thing you'll do is take this picture here and just copying it by pressing Command J. Make four versions, five that is. Uh, just turn this one off. And on the top layer here, you want to choose color up here in the. I can't remember what that menu is called but with these different types of options. Uh, leave it at 100%. Uh, Go down to number 2 and choose soft light which is here uh, and just keep it at 100% yet again. On the third layer you want to go into curves command M and you want to drag it up to make it a lot brighter. Um, just make a point uh, and by clicking on the line and drag it as you wish. Um, should be pretty light like this maybe. You can adjust it later if it's not good enough. Press OK. Uh, then turn the opacity down to 63% or something around that area. Um, then you want to go to the masking down here uh, while having this layer active and you will get this thumbnail picture on the side of the layer picture uh, and that means you can choose a brush by pressing B or over here. Choose a big brush, a uh, soft brush depends on the picture but then you want to choose black as your foreground color. Uh, press X or D. And then just paint in black on the white area of the body. And you can see the texture from the body of the plane is coming back. And that's what we want. Because it was too bright earlier. Uh, just some details in the plane. Like so. And then go to the last layer here uh, and choose Levels, which is Command L. And then you want to drag the uh, left line here to the right, uh, something around 85, uh, looks good. And then press OK. And oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> uh, on the third layer here, you want to choose Pin Light. Uh, which is there. And there you go. Now it looks a lot more like the result I showed you earlier. Um, yeah. I think this look a lot better than this. This is kind of flat and boring. And this has a lot more color and darkness and shadows. And, and the light is used in a totally new way. And it looks good. Um, as you can see here, you can see some uh, flaws in the color gradient. Um, that's because the quality of the picture wasn't too great. So you should have a pretty good quality uh, when editing pictures or stuff like this could happen. But yeah. So this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you next time. Bye.